Hey everybody, I hope everyone's had a great day so far today. Um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry that this episode has taken a while. Um, I've been busy just focusing on the stream itself. Um, I've been busy just trying to get as much progress out of my account as possible to try and give you guys the content that you want to see. I want to be able to do the biggest and the baddest of bosses. I want to be able to do all sorts of different content. You know, stuff that, like, high, high levels do. And I'm only in a mid-high range at the moment with mid-level gear. So I'm trying to do everything I can as much as possible. And But at the same time, it takes a lot of effort on a very budget PC to get it all done as well. So thank you all for being so patient. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to push as much content out as possible and try and get as much recording out as possible. But in a positive aspect, I have made a new intro video. So I hope you like it. If you do, let me know. And here you go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I just had the most scarce moment of my life, but that is a Deathless 350 Missouri crafting kit, and we still haven't got a single purple yet, but we'll take those. We will happily take that. We'll definitely put it on the, uh, the uh, Missouri, and I'm excited to go, so yeah. We did also get another drop on good old Brownie stream. And if you're not following on Twitch, link is in the description, so go and follow him. Perp. It's a purple, but it's not mine. Is it Woody's? He's at the bottom of the f***ing table, bruv! <laughs> Finally? I think this is his first purple, though. So good luck, Woody, man. See, it doesn't matter how much DPS you do, man. It's all RNG, bro. It's his first purple, boys. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Happy birthday, Woody. He got the ring, nice. It's really nice, bro. I was honestly hoping it was a fang. It wasn't. It's all cool. We got so we got something. That's one thing out of the way. Now, we have to go for a fang. Now, I have been on some missions recently. I've been trying to go for one item in RuneScape over the last, like, two, three days now. And it's starting to get to me. Like, really badly. Now, I have a master clue, which I converted, like, a few, a few days ago. Now, it's asking me to have an Ivan Staff, a Mystic Robe Top Dark, and a Mystic Robe Bottom Dark. Now, I have the Ivan Staff, and I have the Dark Top. The only thing I don't have is the Dark Bottoms. Now, the one thing that drops Mystic Robe Dark Bottoms is Aberrant Spectres. Now, for the last... The last time I did Aberrant Spectres, I had a roughly around about seven to 800 KC. Since then, I haven't done them on task because I just haven't been asked to do them on task. I have now killed, and and just be ready for this, I have now killed 2,075 Aberrant Spectres, and I still haven't yet got any drops from them. I have, so this is, this is the log so far for 1,700 of them. Mind you, I have killed some off task, like, on task, uh, on mobile as well. So I had done that in the past, but this is the log for what we do have from them. I have had 119 Ranar weeds, 20 Snapdragon seeds, and more on the list as well. I've I've had key pieces. I've had 20 Larval Battle Staffs. I've had 12 Rune Helms, and I've had at least seven Hard Clues and one Elite Clue. But point being, I've done so many of these, and I still yet have not had the bottoms so i don't know at this point if i should just drop the clue and just not get the item for the meantime because the number of gargles i've done i've done let's have a look i've done a thousand and seventy five gargoyles i've had four tops the worst bit is i've done an over a, so for kurasks where are they where are they kkk okay, okay, okay. uh, 1180 of them four mystic robe tops it doesn't make any sense. I seriously don't understand. If I try, if, I don't know if I've got the basilisks log on here still or not. I can try and have a little look. But I've killed over 1,700 basilisks. And yes, yes, I know that the drop rate is 1 in 256. 
but I've had at least seven to eight mystic hats from them as well. For the for the log on on like all of my Slayer items, like I've nearly got every mystic piece. So apart aside from the dark hat bottoms and boots, and aside from the mystic boots, like they're the only ones I'm missing. And what's making me even more furious is I can't get the robe bottoms dark when I can get every other piece from every other source within less than three to 400k C. Uh, Jagex, can you help me please? I'm begging you, can you help? Please, can you just, just help me out? Hey, guess what? I had a birthday, I had 99 HP party, and I also had a 99 range party. So you get to enjoy this. There you go. Fine, do it to me. Level up, completed. There we go, there we go, there we have it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Let's go. Happy day. Level up. There we go. There's the 99. There we go. Happy days. Happy days. 99 range has just been achieved. There we go. There we go. So, in the meantime, what I'm doing, I'm just making some darts because we're really low on darts. I think I ran out of adamant darts, uh, I think it was the day before yesterday, and I haven't really made any adamite bars since. I've kind of been making adamite bar, uh, darts with the bars that I've had from drops from certain mobs, uh, normally being Aviancies, uh, Zora, um, and I think that's really about it. I kind of I kind of need to go back to Zora at some point as well, because the scales are slowly starting to decrease. But as time does go on, we will eventually have a good supply of like bars. Something I am working on in the background as well is 80 fletching and I'm also working on getting 90 slayer soon. Um, I've already, sorry, I've already got 80 fletching. 90 slayer is now coming up soon. Um, but we need to also make sure that we have all of our charges in our weapons, which include like scales, darts, uh, runes and you know, whatnot. I'm really glad that we didn't have to go for the CG grind, which which took us like, you know, forever to get to nowhere. Um, and I'm very fortunate that I got lucky in chambers. So that does mean that there's gonna be a lot less to worry about within charging crystal armor and whatnot. So any shards that we do get for crystal stuff, I will probably put towards um, things like wep uh, like tool seeds if anything so if we do get a crystal pickaxe which would be very very nice i'll probably put it towards one of those um and probably the same for maybe an axe or maybe a harpoon depending on what i prefer um aside from that i don't really need anything else that's crystal based i mean if i really really need to or really want to i could work towards getting a blade of saldor in future basis but i don't see that happening anytime soon we can just get the crack and grind out of the way and then work our way towards getting a Abyssal Tentacle to then work up to getting a Scythe of Viteur from, uh, from Theatre of Blood, which would be fantastic. But if not that, then we keep going at Tombs of a Mascot until we get ourselves a Fang. So, in all perspective, we're doing very well, but we do need to get our levels up so that we can work even better than that. Okay, so I did slack a little bit on time-wise, but this is a 180, gonna be soon, hopefully done. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll let you know if I get anything. Yeah, right, okay, looks good, sounds good, hopefully, fingers crossed. A nice white light. <gasps> it's a white light, oh, the pet chance, it's on the way, I'm waiting for it. 4449, it's a lucky number. Ooh, okay, okay. What runes? Ooh, okay. Very nice.